we've got first alert meteorologist Colin Meyer standing by. Yeah. Colin, you're really tracking this massive storm uh, that yeah. Milton has become in the last 24 right. hours. You guys, two days ago at this moment, we were talking about a tropical storm. Just three days ago, four days ago, we were talking about a storm that may not form. Now we're looking at a Category 5, still projected to be a 5, and make landfall as a major hurricane, although I think that could come up, unfortunately, due to time in the Gulf. Let's first take stock with where we are and take a look at the setup. Here's where we begin right now as of 520 this evening. There it is. It's the biggest storm on this side of the globe. Winds are at 180 miles per hour. The previous record, the all-time record across the globe, is sustained winds at 215. That's from Patricia back in 2015. 35 miles per hour off of that, but gusts are already up to 215, 220 miles an hour. Look how much water vapor across the board. You can see this is taking up. It's the biggest part of this half of the globe is taken up. All the water vapor across this half of the globe, the biggest part is right there in the Caribbean. Let's take a look in 3D and show you now. Here's the latest update. If that doesn't pass the eye test, I don't know what does. Let's zoom in on 3D. These clouds are up to 50,000 feet. What I'm showing you here, the arrows, this is evaporation of each water parcel on the sea surface. It's evaporating through that rigid eye wall through calm air, then it overspreads the top and kind of falls down around it, canvassing it, kind of like a donut, if you will. What that does is it insulates it from dry air, and once the sun sets, it will still be feeding off of warm air on its own without the sun. Pretty remarkable. Here's the latest track from the Hurricane Center. I have future cast wind speeds with high resolution modeling underneath it. The one thing we hoped it would do is possibly take a little bit more of a southerly track, just possibly to run over parts of less populated land. Of course, we don't wish that on the residents in the Yucatan, but what we we want is it to deviate track a little bit. Otherwise, if it stays over open water, it's going to maintain this strength. Now, this front is diving south faster than we might think, might have thought. This is good news. The more it interacts with that front, it should shear it a little bit. But the Hurricane Center thinks this will be a Category 5 storm all the way through tomorrow evening and then make landfall just now as a 4, a 4, possibly a strong 3 right near Tampa. That cone, notice, is shrinking as well. That's a dangerous storm. We'll have to watch very closely now we'll have more updates through the evening. Let's go over to the maps and show you what's ahead. But again, that is the latest from the Hurricane Center. There you go. It looks like Thursday morning now is the latest from the track, and that's what they presume will happen out of this storm as it continues. That would be a major hurricane. And look at this. It maintains its hurricane status, possibly even major, as it crosses Florida. For us here at home, this actually makes our weather drier, believe it or not, and brings in west and northwesterly winds. And so it looks okay now. Weak frontal boundary sitting to our south. This is what brought that dry air. It actually doesn't feel bad outside. A reinforcing shot of dry air will come through this evening. Here's that front. Watch this. And then we'll get a second swath of dry air kind of rotating in. This time of year, when the fronts don't quite make it through and the jet streams further north, you get kind of these rotating swaths that reinforce each other because the earth is spinning, right? So all of that air is spinning down. So it's going to be even better tomorrow morning. We'll start us out at 63, 61 Wednesday morning, but some spots in our northern counties could see upper 50s. Not too bad, then warming up. And for an early look at the Cotton Bowl on Saturday, guys, up to 92. But the morning kickoff, I think, is early afternoon. Should be in the 70s to 80s. Not bad.